Welcome back to Severe MMA, I'm Andy Stevenson and this is Keen Cowley and we've got a great uh, show coming up, Air FC, in just under four weeks time, uh, the first show uh, of Air FC in Ireland, uh, how are you today? Yeah, all good, yeah, just finished training there now, so uh, yeah, four, nearly four, just under four weeks to go now, so uh, yeah, everything is starting to ramp up now and uh, all roads lead to Air. Yeah, so Friday the 2nd of December um, at the Red Cow Inn, at the, in the Big Top, why did you start an MMA promotion? Uh, well, it's been something that I've kind of wanted to do for a good while. Like with the, I've always been involved with toy boxing, and uh, obviously have my own gym, coach a lot of fighters as well. So now that I'm doing MMA, it's I wanted to be able to merge the two of them together. Like you know what I mean, have my fighters fighting on a show, and then fight myself and then merge the toy boxing scene and the MMA scene together. Do you know what I mean? That was kind of, I had that vision for a while and obviously I've just been so busy with my own career and all, but then this little gap came about towards the end of the year and I was like, right, let's do it now because uh, I hadn't got any fights booked or anything. So I was like, well, just, now's the time to do my own show, get my own fight on it. And yeah, like I said, merge the toy boxing community with the MMA community together. So to have the idea of us to have the best of Irish toy boxers and the best up and coming uh, MMA fours in Ireland and on the same show so here we are. It was rightly pointed out to me uh, when I put up uh, you know Keen Cowley's entering the, the MMA promotion scene they're like well he's, he's done this before he's, he's had his warrior show yeah. for, for Thai boxing this isn't your first rodeo promoting. Mm. Yeah well I've been doing it like for years you know what I mean just it's a part of it it's a part of having a gym and it's a part of, of what it is you know what I mean being a coach and all having to get your lads fights and all it's just the way it is so yeah it's just another uh, obviously in MMA MMA is a different league altogether it's the this is is a different ball game now at this show but uh, like everything I'm just learning on the go I have a good team around me Lara Bourne is involved in it with me as well so he's been uh, promoting shows for years big shows as well so yeah it's a uh, yeah this will be the first one it's a very exciting time ahead so who else is, so it's Lara Bourne you've got Noel O'Keefe as a, as MC commentator and, and matchmaker right yeah so like obviously when we when we, me and Lara got together about the show it's like right like there's one thing matching toy boxing for you so I can do that myself you know what I mean but with MMA it's a different ball game and obviously them and me fighting as well so I, I'd always thought this as well that Noel in particular in the Irish MMA scene he's been around years like, I mean I even remember back in the toy boxing days him telling me about the whole who's next and who's this and all you know what I mean so I always thought like he'd be a great matchmaker and I never said it to him until I was in uh, I was actually I was in Romania or something and I rang him and he was like oh it's up and on and it was just real I was like look Noel this is a mad one but I need you to be a matchmaker for a show I'm starting a show and he was just like eh alright oh, he didn't give me a choice you know what I mean so I just knew that his he commentates on all the sh local domestic shows so and he knows he's he's he, he can tell by him the way he commentates like he's mad into it you know what I mean so there's no better person to match fights in Ireland in my opinion than him you know what I mean so and look at the fights he's after matching already you know what I mean so this is only this is his only his first show doing it as well so yeah noel has been a staple of Irish MMA for, for years and you, you drag, he only just retired there from yeah. his, uh, his MC duties that's and uh, he's back him. in that's what I said to him on the phone dragging him out of retirement because he and then he said as well like that this if there was any time to come out of retirement to be for something like this so yeah happy day it's not just fighters that have MMA retirements yeah, yeah it's a big thing in this community yeah yeah um, so player manager that's the that's what they're, they're labelling you as uh, yes. you're fighting and promoting Nate Kelly commented at me on Instagram and I didn't know what, at the start I was like because I'd never heard that saying it's a football thing or something yeah. it is yeah and, and I was thinking what's he, I was thinking what's he on about do you know what I mean I was nearly thinking he was getting smart as it was I swear <laughs> to God and then, uh, then the lads told me yeah player manager so yeah Nate gave me the show there for that so yeah that's what, if that's what you want to call it that's what it is but I don't see it as a big uh, I, was like, I block out the noise you know what I mean I'm, I'm going to fight myself like the, the work for the show and all has been done in the background and then on the night it's just like any other uh, fight night for me you know what I mean I just block out the noise and go and do my thing yeah. Was it difficult you know we don't see many promotions in the Republic of Ireland these days as Cage Legacy have been around for a bit uh, Premier FC have popped up with a couple of shows now and now yourselves was it difficult to get everything to get the ball rolling you know, I, I've heard insurance costs are through the roof, things like that. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say difficult, Luke. Do you know what I mean? It's just 
there's lots of things you have to go through and safety precautions you have to take and all. But like once you play ball with them, like they play ball with you, that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? I don't see why. I know there was a bit of a gap there for a while, but I think once uh, once you, you you do it right and uh, get the right people involved in it, and like that, we're working with um, the Irish Mixed Martial Arts Association, and that they're they're really helping us. Actually, they're they're doing lots for us. So yeah, it's a uh, that's like, like safe MMA then. Isn't yeah, we're all, we're all that like. So it's just again, this is the first show, so we're trying to learn all this as well. There's a lot to it, but um, there is there's potential there, and the way we're seeing at the moment, there's so many fires coming through. There's there's a couple of shows, but like there is there is room for more shows there to have like you know what I mean so even that weekend there's two shows in the same venue there's, and there's enough fires to feed the two shows so yeah it's great the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned as far as shows in the Republic uh, when I started talking to you about it you said it's going to be a show for the fighters by the fighters mm -hmm. is that important to you? yeah it's, it's very important to me because obviously I'm a fighter myself and I'm going to be for the next couple of years so uh, like yeah do I know from the fighting standpoint what, what fighters like to have and then from the promoter side as well so I'm going to do my best to make the fighters feel how I would want to be treated on a show do you know what I mean so um, that's yeah for the fires um by the fires yeah that that's yeah. the saying yeah uh, like, I imagine that's probably shaped by your experience you've you've traveled around and, and, and fought on a lot of different shows you are probably taken the good and the bad is it like you learning from say bad experiences maybe with another show and then to go in and not make that same mistake here yeah well it's it's not like it's it's hard especially when you're bringing international fires as well there's a lot of moving parts to a show do you know what I mean so but like I said I just once so I can make the fires as happy and as comfortable and they get the best best of care and the best exposure and all that's the whole plan with this you know what I mean I want to get the especially because uh, it's a mixed combat look so the toy boxers the grapplers the MMA fighters I want them all to get the exposure they deserve and then to be looked after as best as possible so there's a heap of fights already announced I saw there was another one announced there earlier on but obviously yourself you're fighting uh, Lee Hammond's fighting uh, undefeated Lee Hammond former world champion um, what can we expect it seems like it is a mix uh, I saw like Senan Coakley's fighting MMA uh, Dano O'Toole and mm -hmm. Tom Kyo from your gym as well defending his title mm -hmm. uh, so it is a mix of, of you know Muay Thai MMA grappling yeah it's it's yeah it's half and half you could say it's half and half at this stage yeah but like it's uh, like I said it's we're trying to match the highest level toy boxers in Ireland against each other that's the plan and then uh, get all the up and coming stars and the MMA scene the amateur MMA scene as well so it is a mix event yeah I want it to be I want it to be known as a mix event because that's what it is I want to this could be a path for the toy boxers in Ireland to get to one championships you know what I mean mm -hmm. and it could be a path for the MMA fighters to potentially one day get to the UFC or to Bellator or wherever they want to go do you know what I mean so with the right production and everything done right we can provide that platform so that's a, that's my goal here yeah yeah we were chatting just before we started recording you were saying like, of course uh, Muay Thai is your passion mm -hmm. The avenues really weren't there for you when you were coming up in, in Muay Thai. Is that what you're kind of trying to provide that route to say, okay, here's a bit of exposure where y you can make a living from Muay Thai. You don't necessarily have to cross over to MMA. Yeah, it's uh, it's these fighting. All fighting sports are hard. It's not like there's so many people trying to get to that to that position. But like that, the more organisations that provide the platform for them, the better chance there is out there. Do you know what I mean? And then, especially when uh, when things are done right, it's uh, it gives them all a better opportunity and a better chance to make it to wherever you want to go, do you know what I mean? So that's a, yeah, that is a big part of it, yeah, of, of what area is and what we're trying to do. Yeah. Who's the main event? We don't know, you'll see on the night, yeah? <laughs> see on the night? Well, that's what we're getting. Yeah, we It'll be whoever walks out loud. Yeah, but we haven't announced all the fights yet, so, do you know what I mean? Okay, you do have any ones yeah. to break here, do you? Uh, we've, no, I've no, no news to break here. You have a few. You sure? You sure? There's a few fights coming this week, though, yeah? The, um, we haven't announced them all. There's a few tasty ones coming, so. Right, so we'll, we'll keep our, our eyes peeled. Yeah. Um, Obviously, this is only the first show. Where are you looking to take this? Like, what are your goals setting up a promotion? I know, obviously, to give the lads a platform, but where do you do you want to see the promotion go in, say, two years, five years' time? Yeah, I want it to be the biggest mixed promotion in Ireland, whatever they do. Do you know what I mean? That has, when you think of combat sports in Ireland and you want to see it, this is what I want Air FC to be the one that people will think of. I want to go and see toy boxers, the best toy boxers. I want to go see the best MMA fighters. I want to see some of the best grapplers. Do you know what I mean? That's, this is what I want to provide for. You can see the way the sport 
sports are growing across the board. Look, look how big Jiu Jitsu is getting now, how big MMA has gotten, and then toy boxing is starting to rise as well. So, and with MMA is helping toy boxing along that because a lot of the good uh, MMA fighters come back f come from toy boxing background. So to have a platform here in Ireland that is like known as the best for when you look outside of Ireland, you look in, I want to see the best toy boxers. Area FC is where you'll go to look at them. Do you know what I mean? So that's that's my goal with this promotion here. Yeah. And uh, like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to be fighting for the next couple of years, so I'm going to be uh, bringing this along with my career as well. But like, yeah, so I'm in I'm in this game for the long run. So yeah. there's um, the score's the limit for Area FC. Yeah. Yeah, you're fighting MMA. Will we be seeing you fighting Muay Thai as well? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't rule it out. But I'm an MMA fighter now, and I'm, I'm uh, my passion is pure MMA now. Like I'm like a lot like the old say, I'm obsessed. But I am. I really uh, I love MMA now, and it's such a good challenge for me, do you know what I mean? And like I have so much more to give and I have so much more to go as well. So that's why like no, toy box and none of that noise comes into it. It's I'm MMA for now. So Yeah. Where, where do you feel like you're at in your career? Obviously like you, you came in with such a spotlight on you mm -hmm. um and it, it kind of put so much more pressure when you're really just learning a whole, like obviously you had a, a wealth of Muay Thai knowledge but you're coming in learning a new trade on the job. You went through a rough patch in your career. Where do you feel like you're at now? Yeah I'm at a, I'm like I'm coming off the two wins in a row now, like, do you know what I mean? And I wouldn't be, uh, look, I have a long way to go, like I said, to get back into the green and all, but I took the, like, that, the first few fights in such a short period of time, like, this is my 10th professional fight now, and I'm only down in um, a handful of years, like, whereas, like, I know whatever about the, the toy box and all, but that's a different ball game when it comes to MMA, like, I don't care what anyone says, there's so much more adjustments you have to make for toy boxing, to use toy boxing in, in MMA, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, well, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm not, I don't regret making any regrets of I'm jumping in too fast or anything like that. It is what it is, but I do feel like I've so much more to go and so much more to give. Like I, I'm gaining experience fast with them fights and the couple of losses I had as well. They like they done a world of good to me as well. So I feel like I'm at I'm at a nice spot now at the moment in my career because I'm fresh. I don't have to take much damage at all. Do you know what I mean? So. Uh, I'm young. I have. I definitely have plenty more years to find they give me. So I, I know. Uh, I know. I have so much more to go in MMA, and I'm very excited to show everyone. Yeah, do like, you feel like you almost kind of needed those first few years of, of learning, essentially, uh, and kind of coming through that adversity to kind of get to where you are now, where you can go and make a push. Yeah, well, it's really like when, when I went amateur, like within a couple of months, bang, bang, bang. Then I was doing the IMAFs in Vegas and all. Do you know what I mean? And that was all. It just all went so fast. Then I made me pro debut, and then I just was banging the fights out, do you know what I mean? It just all went, it just went so quick, do you know what I mean? And even when I look back on it, like, it's like, it's mad to think that this is my 10th professional MMA fight now already, like, it's mad, do you know what I mean? So, if I can do what I've done in the last couple of years, like that, through all all that adversity as well, like, what am I going to do now when I catch a good run, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, it must have been a bit of a whirlwind as well, like, being alongside Connor the entire way, the, the spotlight that's put on you as a result of that, and then the pressure, like, that has to be, not overwhelming, but it, it's, it must be pretty mad when you're only just starting off. Yeah, well, it's it doesn't it doesn't seem mad to me, and we seem mad to other people on the outside. But to me, it's like like I said, it's not. We just block out the noise. None of like that doesn't ever come into it with me. Do you know what I mean? It's it's grow. I've got to I've got to see the world, and I've got to train with the best, and spar with the best early in my MMA career. Do you know what I mean? A lot, no, other fighters have got to do what I've got to do. So I'm very grateful for them opportunities. But it doesn't uh, doesn't make me doesn't take me back right like that. Do you know what I mean? It's just this is just. This is like it's. I was always meant to have this type of life anyway. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't feel any different to me. So I always visioned that this type of uh, journey that I was going to be on for the rest of my life, and it just happens to be that I'm in. Uh, was traveling with the best fighter in the world, doing doing all that. So uh, yeah. Yeah, like has it been frustrating the last couple of opponents? Like I think there's been a bit of a gap in in your skill level compared to theirs. Has it been frustrating trying to get opponents that are kind of of the adequate level? Yeah, like it's it's all it's always hard to get opponents and and like sometimes you'll have like in Brave it was a lot different. It was like it's like a league more so. It was like you fight who's next in the rankings, or whatever. Yeah, which which I liked that concept. You know what I mean? And I didn't shy away from any of the, any of the fights. You know what I mean? I, 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 that's where I wanted to be. Te I wanted to test myself. And that. So now, after being in that that 
scene and then coming out of it onto the smaller shows, it's kind of hard to get the voice, you know what I mean? And, and uh, yeah, like, especially coming after, after COVID as well, I was lucky to have a couple of fights during COVID, but coming out of it, everyone was trying to get fights, so it's so hard to, and then my record doesn't help me either, you know what I mean? It's not like, it's a, I'm a risky fight for anyone to take really, like, cause, you know what I mean? So I don't, uh, yeah, it is hard to get fights, and that's part of the reason why, like, after the last fight in July, I was, like, trying to get a fight in, like, quick time, because I was out fresh again, I was, like, trying to get a fight, and I couldn't get one, and that's when I, I got on to last straight away, I was, like, going on, I have to do a show, because I was thinking, by the way, I was going and looking at the calendar of shows, like, I'm probably not going to get another fight this year, I was, like, can't be going two fights in a year, I have to be getting at least three, you know what I mean, so. Taking it into your own hands, really, and just, right, I'll set up a promotion and uh, get some fights that way. Yeah, if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do, so, yeah, yeah. build that and they'll come. And do you, like, do you leave that to Noel to match you, or are you involved in the match yeah. making for yourself? Yeah, so, no, no, no. It's, if, if imagine being involved in the match, yeah. <laughs> get him. But uh, now, now, like when he came on straight away, within within three or four days, he had uh, this opponent for me yeah. because uh, he, through a manager that he knows, I manage loads of fighters, and then bang, and he was like, it's a good match. He, now had his uh, fan cap on. He was like, he's a boxer. He said seven finishes, perfect match. You know what I mean? So we just looked at him. I was like, yeah, go ahead. Looked at it, and then I watched that man's fights. I was like, yeah, it's actually a great match. Um, it is a good match. You know what I mean? He's he's a a heavy-handed tall boxer and he likes to stand and have a bang so it's a perfect match you know yeah, I mean? like it's, it's, he looks at, he's a lot of finishes on his record but I think you might be the, the most difficult opponent he's faced today yeah well he fought in one championship there and I don't know when it was yeah he had a fight in one championship against a, a fella there so like he's no he's not he's had been on the big stage so he, he understands that and he feels that you know what I mean he's felt that before so but yeah my record isn't uh, doesn't stay what I am you know what I mean it's different it's different when we're in there so yeah and I am uh, going to be looking to put my statement on my own show as well yeah yeah. first time fighting as a professional MMA fighter in Dublin mm. that must be exciting yeah yeah it's me last time fighting MMA was in the tree arena me amateur debut yeah. and uh, now here I am and you never would have thought I'd be on my own show yeah. yeah on my own show fighting MMA again so yeah I'm just buzzing to be back fighting in Dublin where all my friends and family can come to it you know what I mean it's, uh, it's going to be deadly like to, just thinking about it like it's, oh, it's some buzz can't wait yeah, like it'll be in the in the big top. Uh, like look, we we're saying, like it looks like Duffy Circus Ten. Like it looks like it'll be a, a party atmosphere. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you're expecting a massive turnout with your not obviously yourself alone. Then you've got Lee and, and whoever else is going to be fighting. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna the tickets are moving well at the moment. So yeah, it's gonna be a sellout. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great atmosphere on the night for everyone that's lucky yeah. enough to get a ticket. I, I've got to ask uh, your last fight, and this is this is no disrespect to the opponent, but the way in uh, it gave quite the visual. Uh, you were towering over your opponent. What, like, when you kind of saw him walk up, were you kind of like, Jesus, what's going on here? Yeah, I'll tell you what, like, see, say, say, people can say what they want. Like, it was a strange one because I've never even sparred someone. Yeah. Like, yeah. I rarely have sparred people that small. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, now he was, he, he was about six foot wide, but, but it was like, weird yeah. Because, like, a lot of me fights are going, I'll be prepping for people the same height as me or a little bit smaller than me. And then this small, and then his style as well. So, like, even in the first round, he got me down twice. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. just because he was so small and compact, it was different. So like that was a adjustment on the fly when I seen him at the way and I was like, Well and then I was even like that night thinking about it and then even on the day in the cage, like, I was like, Wow, I'm huge, like this is it's gonna be handy because I'm so but then he was so small and compact when he got when he got a hold of me, like he was strong. So I had to make it like that could have been a dodgy one as well. Do you know what I mean? Like big, wide, overhand, strong lad takedowns. Do you know what I mean? So like that, th th there was a risky fight as well. Do you know what I mean? For me, like if I had got beaten by him, so. Yeah. Um, Talk to me about Lee. Um, he, he's on a great run at the moment, four and zero. Uh, his last fight against a really, really solid fighter overcame, him, got the decision. He's gotten nothing but finishes before then. How is he looking coming into this one? Yeah, Lee is sharp as ever. He's just he, he's like every other fight. He's just never out of gym. He's always in the gym. So um, it's a it's a it's very exciting to see like what's going to be like next. Like look at the last fight. You know what I mean? Against that like six and zero pound, like solid opponent, like some performance. So and now like the way he's been and he's only back from Thailand on a stint in Thailand went over there to the 
and learn from the toys. So he's uh, up in his game, something else. He just finished a training session with him there. Like, and it's, it's uh, on, on buzzing to be able to fight on the same show as him again. Both of us on the same show in Dublin, like, do you know what I mean? Sharing the same card. So it's, a, it's a, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't wait for it. Yeah. You, you, kind of, you can see the smile on your face. Like, it kind of makes it extra special, right? Yeah, big time. Because, like, Lee, me and Lee, since I started MMA, like, every fight I've had, Lee comes with me to corner me and vice versa. Do you know what I mean? We train together. Like, he teaches me Jiu Jitsu, I teach him toy boxing, and then now he's turned professional and we're fighting on the same shows together. Like, tra- like we used to travel together to do each other's corner and all that, and now we travel together and fight together. It's And now we're getting to do it like two minutes of the row from our gym, so it's uh, it's deadly, yeah. Yeah. Where, where do you want to see yourself in a year, two year, five years' time? Are you, like, is UFC the goal? What's it, what, are the, what are the goals in MMA at the moment? Yeah, well, every fighter is, the UFC is the goal, and it has to be the goal. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the premier organization. I just want to, I want to bang out as many fights as I can now in this next year or two and then see where it leaves me then. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm in a good position. I know I'm in a good position. Uh, and I know my style of fighting is exciting and it's what people want to see. So if I, uh, if I keep getting finishes and keep winning, like, you never know where I'm going to end up. But that obviously is my vision is to get to the UFC. There's no two ways about it. I'm not going to come on and say, oh, I want this, I want that. It's the UFC is where I want to go. And it takes me another good few fights to get that. And so be it. Do you know what I mean? It's a... Uh, yeah, that's the goal. We were chatting about the uh, the News Talk documentary just before we started recording. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, the tagline was your quote, I'll smile when I'm rich. Mm-hmm. You've got loads of business oppor- or big ventures on now, mind drinks. A uh, couple of smiles there in the interview. Are, are we rich? Uh, no, I'm not. You're mad. <laughs> I haven't sure. I'm lucky to keep this gym going. Do you know what I mean? People think from the outside it's not what it, what it looks like. I'm living the martial arts life, especially if running a gym and all. In, in this day and age, it's tough going. So I'm very lucky to be involved in these different types of business businesses and all to help me along the way but like I'm, uh, I'm very very lucky one of the lucky fighters to be able to train full time and have people support me to keep me training full time because not everyone has that so yeah I'm uh, but like <laughs> we'll, we'll wait we'll wait to smile there yeah, the smile thing that was just that whole got blown out that was just uh, like in the heat of the moment that smile uh, that saying came from so but uh, it's the fucking media for you <laughs> yeah you was cunt <laughs> <laughs> well look Keen, I really appreciate the time um, Friday, 2nd of December at the Big Top at the Red Cow Inn, ERA FC's inaugural event. Keen Cowley fighting on it, Lee Hammond fighting on it. Other fighters that Keen won't tell me are fighting on it. Uh, tune in. Will, it, will there be a stream? Obviously, buy your tickets. Uh, go see it. If you can't make it, will there be a stream? We haven't decided on the stream yet. We'll okay. see how it goes. Maybe. So get your tickets. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Appreciate the time and uh, tune in next.